Nigeria has confirmed its first case of coronavirus the since its outbreak in China. The area close to the coronavirus zone. pandemic. That's the warning. In an Italian citizen who entered Nigeria on the few hours, fresh cases have been confirmed in countries around the globe. The rapid outbreak of the COVID-19 presents an alarming health crisis that the world is grappling with. In addition to the human impact, there is also significant economic, business and commercial impact being felt globally. The rapidly intensifying economic effect of COVID-19 on the world of work are proving to be far worse than the 2008-2009 financial crisis with cutbacks equivalent to nearly 200 million full-time workers expected in months to come. Various sectors have been affected by the COVID-19 pandemic, ranging from agriculture, banking, real estate, healthcare, oil and gas, entertainment, and others. EPIS on Monday sacked over 70 pilots cutting across its fleet types as the negative impact of COVID-19 pandemic continues to take a huge toll on its operations like other mega carriers in Europe, America, Middle East, Asia, Australia, and other parts of Africa. The airline said the decision became painful, but rightful in the face of the devastating effect of the COVID-19 pandemic on its operations and financial health. The job cost for pilots among it over 3,000 workers became imperative because it could not afford to tow the path of being unable to continue to fulfill its financial obligation to its workers, external vendors, aviation agencies, aircraft maintenance organizations, insurance companies, banks, and other creditors if it did not carry out restructuring of its entire operation to survive the times. The airline said it realized that it was not immune from the challenges thrown up by the COVID-19 pandemic for the global transport industry as it had to act fast by protecting existing jobs with the hope of creating new ones in the future. Since the outbreak was declared a global pandemic by the World Health Organization on the 11th of March 2020, it continues to spread across the world with more than 18 million confirmed cases in 188 countries and over 694,000 deaths. Nigeria having over 44,000 cases, 896 deaths.